What's going on everybody, and welcome to part 90 of my playthrough for Okami. So in the last episode, we were exploring the new part of Ryoshima Coast we came to, when we found some really jerky brat kids beating up on this guy, which I felt bad for. How you doing, man? Hey, kid. Hey, he's a kid? <laughs> How long you planning on staying like that? Hey, I'm talking to you. What's wrong, kid? Uh, well, he was just getting beat up by a bunch of kids, so give him a break. Hey, kid. Hello? Anybody home? Man, he doesn't seem like he wants to talk, huh? I don't blame him. It's some crazy dog and a bouncing bug. Hello? Hello? <laughs> We're go <laughs> we gonna do? Any bright ideas for a ball? Um, I don't really want to tackle him. That seems mean. It's giving us the option, though. Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> Must have dozed off. I reckon I do that a lot in the beach. <laughs> Fisherman Urasha. Ushimi Urashumi. I'll butcher everyone's name by God. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I sure appreciate you waking me up. When I ain't got the strength to go home, sometimes I nap here. You were sleeping? Bah! You really had us worried, hunched over like that. You're not sick or injured, are you? No, no sir. I'm fit as a fiddle, I am. Just taking a nap on the beach is all. Oh, well, that's a relief. Anyway, what was that about? A castle at the bottom of the sea? Would you mind filling us in? No one ever believes me about that. There's the land under the sea here in Ryoshima. The Dragonians and the Sea God live there in the Dragon Palace. The Dragon Palace is an amazing place. Really pretty. I haven't been there in dog age though. It's funny you should mention dog. <laughs> Dragon Palace? Land of the Dragonians? There's the one controlling the water dragon. Himiko said so. So, just how does one go down to that place, Bucket Boy? <laughs> he soon. Be nice to the man. How could you, Chubby? How could, how could a Chubby, or I mean a big bone lad like you, elude, wa elude that water dragon? And make it all the way down to the bottom of the sea? The water dragon was much nicer in those days. But you can't just choose to go to the Dragon Palace, see? Only worthy people can go. If you're worthy, an emissary called Orca comes to get you. So this Orca dude is an emissary of the Dragon Palace. And just how do you get to meet this guy? Now that's one question that ain't so easy to answer. You all see that pier over yonder? That pier's where I met Orca. I was looking out to the sea when he came with a morning sun. Orca only comes if you're the worthy of the Dragon Palace, I reckon. You think so, huh? He figures. I like his accent. I like how it doesn't like it's, you know, that kind of southern accent and it really doesn't fit into Japan at all, which is the culture of like everything else that's been here. But I don't know. This guy, I like this guy so far. He's cool, even if I can't pronounce his name. Orashimi? Or Ora Shamia, I'm sorry, I just, in case you haven't noticed, I'm on a quest to mispronounce everyone's name in this playthrough. <laughs> oh god, I missed a piece of text, I'm so sorry. I was looking out of the sea when he came with the morning sun. Orca, only comes if you're, okay, yeah, well, that's what he said. Alright, well, he's going through loops now. You know when you talk to an NPC twice and they say the same thing over. They're either insane or they're just going to keep repeating themselves. Interesting, so you got to be worthy for this Orca. Seems to be the key to getting down to the Dragonian people in the Dragon Palace. Something <laughs> something you know we're going to be doing. So we started off with a bit of text there, but I gotta, I gotta make a confession that I am a little under the weather. And naturally when I am this sick, I usually tend not to record just for the fact that I don't like to edit out coughs and I don't like to sound the way I sound, but I'm a little stuffed up, I'm mostly, mostly all the way better, but I just, I really wanted to play Okami, I really want to get keep going with this game. 
So I just, I had to do it. So excuse any, you know, mishaps. Not that this episode is, uh, episode series has been like, this series was originally going to be me. Originally I was not going to have commentary at all, and then I'm like, well I might as well just record the commentary regardless of how bad it is. Like not even edit out any coughs or just anything I mess up on, but I've been actually putting, this is probably the series I put the most amount of audio work into overall, so, which is tough for me because I, I hate doing audio work. I like it when it comes out, but I hate doing it. Like, I like doing video work, but I don't... No, I like doing video work, and I love to see the way it comes out, and I enjoy actually doing the video. Anything to do with video work, but audio work is just... Ooh. Like that, I just had a coughing fit, and you will never know because of my amazing editing skills. <laughs> oh, gosh. Get out of the... Or it doesn't look cool. It doesn't look like something at a curb. You don't, like, you can see the water over here, but the water over here is just like... Ah, oh, it's so cool. Like, it looks like something out of Kirby. Like, what's that? Ah, uh, uh, Kirby's Nightmare to Dreamland, uh... What is that? The level 6 orange ocean or something? That's what it reminds me of. Alright, so after talking to uh, Ushi Ushorami, I, I'm sorry, really. I've, I, I'll try to apologize every time, but you know, I'm doing my best I can. And uh, get the... What? Thank you! God, we hurt the tree in the process. <laughs> Hit the tree in the background, not the rock in front. So he gave us some really interesting information. I do, I do like this guy too. I, I think he's a cool character, cool design, nice honest guy. Dig the uh, the accent, the out of place accent here. So he was saying something about the pier, but we gotta be worthy. Maybe we're not worthy. We're a god, but we're not worthy. Maybe it's Isun. Maybe uh, Isun needs to get off because he's messing with our worthiness. He's weighing us down. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I have. Like I said, no memory of this area, so it really is blind. I haven't been too blind since... Oh man, way back now. Hmm. Well, he's kind of our only lead, so... Let me go back and talk to him. Did I go in this house right here? I want to say I didn't. I remember the the cat people. Those people we want to avoid. They're over there. That appears where I met Orca. I was looking at the sea. Yep, it came in the morning sun. He was like magic. Huh. That's helpful, but not as helpful as I'd like. Oh, okay, I just it occurred to me as we were oh, hello. I thought this was gonna be uh his house, but maybe not. Oh it is, okay. Well well, ain't you a fine looking wolf. White as snow. What are you doing in an old beach house like this, then? I ain't got nothing for you, but you can rest here if you like. What a nice old lady. I like her. She's the first old lady who hasn't tried to you know, beat us up or eat us or... Can I go over here? Examine? Wow. They're even drier on the... <laughs> uh, now I'm going to guess there might be nothing in here? It's a big fish over there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I came into this episode because I just I really wanted to get on with Okami. Half just I wanna I wanna get on and beat the game because I hate being stuck in a game too long and I've been stuck on way too many games. And this has been one of the games I want to finish for a while. And to be honest, I probably would have finished it a while ago if I wasn't doing a playthrough of it and putting so much work into it. That's that's the other thing. If I mean the playthrough on its own, I might have been done with, but I'm just put so much work into it. You wouldn't. No one really cares. You know what I mean? Like no one particularly cares that in part 57 of Okami, I didn't edit out a sneeze at a certain point. But I care, you know what I mean? It's it's a me. It's a personal thing for me. I care. But that's just how I am. I'm. I wouldn't use the term anal, but I'd use like the term uh, perfectionist. Very very perfectionist like. And this isn't even one of the playthroughs that I plan on uh, putting 100% effort into. This is not even 100% effort. We haven't really. Oh god, look how spooky that looks over there. We haven't gone over this way all the way. I assumed we couldn't... Oh, 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 hey, it's a demon thing. Let's, well, let's get into a fight, right? While I'm just talking away, we might as well be doing something productive. Let's just, I don't know. Next time I decide to do a, a crazy playthrough that's going to take up, like, <laughs> how long this has been going on now, I don't even know. It's, like, almost as long as Harvest Moon, except I'd probably put more effort into it. No, I put, like, I think I put equal amount of... No, I put more effort in this one because of the... Uh, whoa because of the audio work. Okay, I don't know how to use this weapon fully yet, and these are new enemies, which weren't explained. Uh, power slash? Okay, oh goodness. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Okay, that did a chunk of damage. This thing is really slow, though. But I said, I thought, just because, oh, they look like imps, can I get a demon fang out of that? I cannot. 
Too bad. Ooh! Like I said, this thing is really powerful. It's slow, but it's really powerful. And since we sometimes, or actually very often the time, only get one chance to hit most enemies, especially the really annoying ones, I think it's just better to have this on. But I, I like... Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! Oh, gosh! What is that thing? No one told me he'd be here. He's taken off his head. Someone stop him. That's just not right. Hit him, Amaterasu. Can we launch? Oh, yeah. I forgot we had that. That is like nothing, though. It just... Oh, good job! These just look like, uh... Now that I'm paying more attention, these just look like rehashes of imps from, uh... Shinju Field. Like, not even rehashes, but, uh... Literally, palette swaps. I'm taking damage here. He's a lot stronger, though. I'll give him that. Okay. Alright. No more miss... Misses nice Amaterasu. Which... Oh, God. I, I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Which is... I'm not dying here, okay? I... Whoa. Okay. I didn't, I didn't die to the great Lord Orochi, alright? I'm not dying to a common enemy. It's just not going down that way. Some may say heals are the cheap way. I say it's the way to not die. Yeah. Plus, it's not like I'm trying to rush Okami, but... You know what I mean? Like... When a playthrough's been going on so long, it's kind of like I need to sort of rush it just to get myself going on a regular pace to do it. And it's not just that... Ooh, that looks really pretty. I know I'm giving, like, a, an in-game update here, which I try not to do, because I don't usually like to do it, because blah, blah, he's just, he's talking, someone make, oh, hello, little girl. Does it, is that to feed the little girl? No, I think it's the rabbits next to her. Hi. Oh, hello, doggy. Have you come to see Cat Call Tower? You can hear it from here. That cat crying, it sounds so sad. The tower was built on that island a long time ago. They say there's a huge cat statue at the top. It used to be a real cat before, but after it lived for a really long time, it turned into a god. Then it built the tower to watch over the world from on top. But the tower was so high, the cat got scared and couldn't come down. It was up there for so long that it turned to stone in the end. And it's been alone up there ever since. That's why it cries like that even now. Isn't that just the saddest story you've ever heard? How does it cry if it's made of stone? I'm poking plot hole stories in the little girl story. <laughs> How sad though, right? Huh? That's such a sad story. But um obviously I didn't look it up, but I like I said before, I'm sure the same sort of stuff that uh Dragon Ball with the Corin's tower and uh this tower in Okami with the cat, which I like that cat crying noise. Um I'm sure it's inspiration drawn from the same pieces of mythology. I don't know what mythology that is, but I'm sure it is. Hey, we've been doing it so long, it's morning. How great is that, huh? Where hey! Ah! So can I still dig this up? Oh, I can! Okay, so if, like, I was a real Okami buff, and I knew where everything was, I wouldn't have to wait for night. I can actually just dig it up. That's really cool. I like that a lot. I like how night allows you to see it, but it doesn't have to be night. That's cool. I do like that. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me again, sore throat. Can't can't do my usual excited, overjoyous, girly <laughs> emotions, which everybody loves. That's that's why you watch these videos, I know. Okay, so this will probably be the last episode of me running around more than semi-blind. Since we've mostly checked out the entire area now. I'll probably fight a few of these scrolls off screen, but eh, it depends if I feel like it. But yeah, to, to end my very scatterbrained in-video update, I just, uh, I want to get moving more with Okami. I do, when I, when I have free time, it's not that much free time, and I, you know, often choose to do other things with my time to be productive. But I really do want to get on with Okami, mostly because I have just I have so many other games I want to play. I have already, like, my next two games planned out. I have a co-op thing planned out in the future. Two co-op things planned out in the very near future, and I have a game I've wanted to do for a while. A very short one, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and I absolutely want to do it blind. I really want to play the game. I'm not going to reveal it. Not that anyone cares. Not when everyone's going to be like, tell me the game! Tell me! <laughs> but uh, I really really want to do it. But I refuse to start it until I finish Okami. I do... Or if I finish Harvest Moon, that would work too, but I don't plan on rushing Harvest Moon at all. I know people would really want to see that more, but I do put overall more effort. Like, Okami is my laid-back playthrough, even though I keep putting more effort into it. Like, even on this one, I already know I have a bunch of audio stuff to fix. But, it's it's worth it, just because, like I said, it's a thing that I'll know. So, we can't really seem to get up here. I'm pretty sure we can't. So, we've pretty much explored everything around this area. I've successfully wasted about 
15 minutes of your time. How good am I? But yeah, in the next episode, I will either do some off-screen exploring to figure out what to do next to progress the story, or I will cheat and figure out what to do next by looking up things on the internet. God, that island looks so scary over there. I can't wait to take it down. I can't wait to go to the uh, Dragonian Palace, Water Dragon, meet this orc or something like a cool person. So hopefully we'll be doing all that in the next episode. So until then, I thank you guys for watching, and until next time, I'll catch you later.